You know you have reached a level of comfort in your job mm -hmm. when your brain takes a nap and your hands keep going. Sometimes when he, he'll actually start to fall asleep while he's painting, <laughs> he continued to paint nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> but then few hands have practiced. I started 55 years ago. Like Randy Mueller's. A junior in high school. From high school art class to a deal with the neighborhood grocer. Randy would eventually paint ads for chuck roast and squash alongside a dozen employees. You know, I'd be working 24 hours a day. Good times for paper sign painters mm -hmm. until mom and pops were replaced by big box. And there goes another one of my customers. Leading to this week. I'm 73 years old. Randy's last on the job, pondering his greatest work. Patrick has turned out to be the, the, the uh, probably the best sign painter I've ever had working for me. For 17 years, Patrick Moran has been painting at Randy's side. A relationship that started when Randy took out an ad in the newspaper seeking a sign painter, then added the words, not college bound. Beautiful words for a boy used to hearing these. But the fellow students would say, well, you hear it's stupid, oh, he's so stupid. And so I believed it. I believed I was stupid. Patrick has a learning disability and spent his school days in special education. Randy taught him differently. He used to say that the, the brush is like a, a tractor pulling a semi-trailer. That's Patrick, that was his first sign. But why invest in a teen so challenged? That's Todd. Because Randy saw something that reminded him of another young man. You can live with it, but never get over it. Randy's son Todd struggled his entire childhood with a learning disability brought on by the brain tumor that took his life mm -hmm. just a few months yeah. before Randy hired Patrick. The thing that I'm the most proud of is my dollar sign. Randy's paychecks allowed Patrick to purchase his own mobile home as he takes the bus to a steady job where weekly the boss has treated him to breakfast yeah. Yeah. with their favorite waitress. <laughs> Pam and eggs is what we call her. So recently, when Randy sold what's left of his business. I suppose you could do that. He placed just one condition on Jack Hegerly. Right. The new owner, who promptly agreed. He's just good at his job. To keep Patrick on. Well, it's the, the thing to do, isn't it? Randy Mueller asked that question, but could have answered it in his sleep. Yes, it is. It's the thing to do. Not so common in grocery stores anymore. But still, the signs that bind. Boyd Hoopert, Carol Evan News, Minneapolis.